Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel and thank you for my returning uh, subscribers. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so by uh, tapping on the little bell down there and, uh, or down there, not really sure which where it is. I know it's down there somewhere um, to subscribe. So I went to Dollarama a couple hours ago and I, didn't have a lot of time because uh, I had to pick somebody up, but then I had to wait for that somebody for like 40 minutes. So I'm. This is why I'm red. Okay, I I'm, I can see my face now. <laughs> I'm. Red. I waited in my car for 40 minutes, and it's very sunny today. And uh, I, you know what? Come to think of it, I don't remember putting on any sunscreen this morning. Okay. Anyway, without further ado, I would like to present to you my Dollarama haul. It's nothing exciting. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even publish this video because it's really not an exciting haul. So, to make it more interesting, I would like to uh, show you that uh, I got some happy mail from my good friend Crafty Share Cupcake. You all know her, I'm sure you must follow her. Uh, she's also known as the Fairy Garden Queen. <laughs> she sent me this lovely card for Mother's Day. I did receive it on Friday, but I obviously I didn't make any videos until today. So thank you so much Crafty Share Cupcake. The card uh, inside is full of beautiful sentiments and uh, you know, it's gonna get me all teary-eyed if I read it out loud to you and inside you did not have to do this crafty share cupcake but I so appreciate this this is so thoughtful of you and I did not bring these with me today but I got some Dollarama gift cards share that was not necessary uh, but thank you thank you thank you so very much uh, it's very very much appreciated and maybe it's a good thing I didn't bring them today because I really didn't find anything for myself. Really, it was just like stuff I needed for the house and the cat. So, yeah, I'm saving these for my next trip. And these stickers. Now, I love these stickers. I have not seen these in any store. And uh, so thank you so much, uh, Cher. These are so you. And I, I think of you every time I see these. Now I just I think of you, a, a fairy queen, a fairy garden queen, a fairy, a fairy garden queen. So I went to Dollarama. I had a list of things I needed to get. Uh, I needed to repurchase the cat litters for Madame Snowball. So I got those. And I was in need of some new lint brushes, which I did get. Well, lint, I didn't say lint brushes, lint, lint removal brushes. Um, because as you know, I have a beloved kitty, but I am going to now name her Queen Sheds A Lot. Yes, she sheds a lot. Um, and of course at every change of season change in temperature she tends to shed more so and uh, I have a lot of pale things in my home including in my studio this chair is this light light pale and I swear every time I get off this chair the moment I get off she jumps on it and she takes like a kitty nap so when I come back to sit on my chair guess what it's not this lovely shade of light pink anymore it's black like her so I have been going through lint rollers like a mad woman I have to clean this chair several times a day I have to tuck it under my desk and put a book over the desk and the chair so she doesn't climb into it because I have tucked the chair under my desk you know you can push the chair under it and she will squeeze herself in there. So now I actually have to put something on top so she doesn't go into the chair. Wait till she figures out how to go under my desk 
and somehow under the desk and on top, squeeze onto the top of the chair. I'm sure she'll figure that out. So uh, I got some of these, I call them lint roller brushes. And I love these ones that they have a Dollarama because they roll like this. And I can put a lot of pressure on these and I find them easier to use than the ones that are on a stick um, for, for the cat, for the furniture, for removing the cat fur from the furniture. I think these are excellent. There is 40 sheets on each of these rolls and I think the stick ones have less. But anyway, I find these uh, better for what I need them. So these are $2. I did purchase two more uh, because you know, I'm just going to go through a lot of them. And I prefer using, I know it, it's wasteful to use the sticky stuff because you have to throw it out and stuff. Uh, but the other brush I did have that was like a fabric and you would clean it, you know, pull off the fur after it broke. So uh, that's why I got those. However, uh, when I walked by the area where in this Dollarama where they have like um, tools and hooks and screwdrivers and stuff like that. They have this um, and it is a reusable sticky picker upper. I know I've seen this years ago. I'm pretty sure I've seen this on TV too. Yeah, I've seen on TV and it's a kind of lint roller and there's also a brush thingy um, that you can reuse you just have to wash it under water and i remember my mom having one of these years and years ago but it was gray and red and it worked for a very long time uh, but they do it did lose its effectiveness over a while so um after a while i should say and so i thought oh you know what i'm gonna buy this one from dollarama they're four dollars so let's say it, it is a four dollar item but it is worth a try and I'll see. I'll see if this is uh, if this works well. I have a lot of furniture that uh, gets fur on, so I will be uh, testing this out all over the place. So I will see. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to trying this, and hopefully, I did not waste four bucks. Uh, oh, this is so excited! Hold on to your chairs here. Oh, garbage bags. Ooh. So here we go. I buy these. The the tough guy, you get 25 bags on a roll. Uh, the scented ones, they're, they're small, thin bags. I like to use these in our small garbage cans. Not the big kitchen garbage can and stuff because, you know, that they, they, they won't last. But the little, you know, the little trash cans that we have, you know, in the bedrooms and in the bathrooms. So I got that. Picked up some energy drinks for hubby, the Rockstar Sugar Free, yeah, he drinks this. These are $2 a piece. I think last time I said they were three, they're not three, they're $2 a piece. And I got some, again, very exciting stuff. Lysol Fresh, uh, Nature Fresh, this time cleans and freshens with toilet bowls. Got these, they're Two, there's two in here for three dollars and it, it does help keep the bowls tidy uh, I don't have to scrub them as often so I like that um, I also picked up I finally picked up these I had seen them I walked right by them and then I saw uh, crafty share cupcake and all these and I was like oh I forgot I forgot to pick them up and that was a few weeks ago I think. so when I went in today I I got a few packages of the ice cube makers well ice ball makers so and I got I got a few packages to make ice balls for drinks this summer and uh, any time of year really and I also got another package so uh, if I want to make some bath bombs I will use those and also uh, you can make seed bombs it's it's like a bath bomb but it's made of dirt and seeds so um, I got those oh in the food aisle this was I never seen this at Dollarama it is the Twinnings uh, lemon and ginger tea there's four tea bags in here and you know what I don't even remember how much this was uh, so this is a dollar twenty-five for you only get four tea bags, but it is Twinnings tea, 
and uh, lemon and ginger. It's not a, a flavor that I would drink often, but um, if we're under the weather, not feeling too great, uh, this is this is something we would like. So this is perfect to keep in my cupboard. Out of straws, my yearly purchase of a straws. So there's 180 in here. Got the drinking straws. They are a dollar twenty-five. I've been buying these straws at Dollarama for years and years and years. They used to be like a dollar. <laughs> now they're dollar twenty-five. At least they didn't go up too much in price. Um. Oh, there was some Crisco at the dot. This Dollarama I stopped at. So there were two packages of the Crisco left on the shelf, so I took them. So these are great for baking. $1.25, $1.50, sorry, $1.50 for the little bricks of Crisco. So the small ones there. Um, there's a, a hunt, that's a stick, I should say, a stick, 189 grams. So it's perfect for making a batch of cookies or something. And what else, what else, what else? Um, was another energy drink. Ice cube banks. Crisco. Oh, not very interesting. Oh, this won't be exciting to you. But to me, finally, I got rigatoni pasta at Dollarama. I used to be able to find bags of rigatoni pasta at Dollar Tree, at Dollarama, no problem. But it's been almost a year, really, since uh, I've been able to find these at the dollar stores. And um, my local grocery stores never have rigatoni. I don't know what it is with this one type of pasta. And it's one of my one of our favorite types. So saw this at Dollarama. It is the big bag of Unico uh, pasta. It is the 900 gram, and these are $2. Uh, I know that you, could, you used to be able to get bags of uh, rigatoni for a dollar. They still have the other brand that is more like the Dollarama ba brand, and those bags of pasta, no rigatoni though, are still a dollar or a dollar 25. But all the Unico bags at this Dollarama, all the big bags of pasta are $2. I think that's still a better price than um, average in the grocery store. But, so I got that. Um, I picked up this bottle of Shake and Go uh, fertilizer. It's like an all-purpose organic-based plant food. Uh, Six, eight, twelve. I'm not really sure what that means. I have to look it up. Um, I got this to sprinkle around. Especially in my uh, my flower gardens along here, my rose bushes really need some vitamins. So I will, yeah, I will be sprinkling that in there. It's a slow release type, so you just sprinkle it. It's very simple, and uh, it's the Schmidt brand. So you have 900 grams in here, or uh, almost two pounds, 1.98 pounds. So four bucks for this uh, plant food. It's a good brand. Now. I saw this in the office supply and my coloring book section and I really like these cases. This is a like a pencil case. It's pretty narrow and it has the holes in it so and it's a hard case and it fits inside a binder. And um, I might not use it in a binder and I might but I wanted to get something about this depth so this is, will be perfect to store. I have some quilling pen, quill pens, uh, like, you know, the old fashioned way of writing. And I just needed something to store them in and all the little nibs. So this, this might work. And this Dollarama I went to is not my favorite one to go to. Um, there was nothing new in the crafts. It was, it's always very dirty and disorganized and lots of bare shells and the staff's nasty so I don't like going there but it's it's where it was the closest one to where I had to uh, bring someone today so uh, that's why I stopped there uh, they had these pouches I remember hauling these over a year ago 
and I do like them very much. So that's why I picked up two more. Only in the I only picked up the ones in the pink. They still have some with the green zippers and the yellow zippers also. But um, I do remember me hauling these. And they have this fabric panel inside, so you can actually use it as a divider or use it as a way to like sort of hide what's in there if you want. So these are portfolio A4 size uh, pouches. They're plastic and fabric, and they're $1.25 each. Um, now, I, I have been kicking myself. I had seen the Tough & Gear when they first, uh, Tough & Clear when they first put them out in the Dollarama store, and I didn't know what they were, and I walked by them all the time. And then I saw people hauling these on YouTube, and I was like, oh, yeah, really? So, but now that I go back, I can only find the smaller sizes. So these are all six by nine. I picked up eight of them because they are four for a dollar. Uh, so yeah, I, I think these are really great for document storage, for organizing um, all sorts of materials and artwork in my studio. And speaking of artwork, the last two items are actually a little bit crafty and that's all I bought that was crafty because that's all there was really. I uh, took the time because I was I had the time at the moment at that time I had the time to to do this I actually opened the box in the store and on I had a list with me uh, a written paper list so I used that paper and I actually opened the box and tested some of the crayons at right there in the middle of the store and I actually I thought well you know uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that. But I actually bought the two that I tested. I I thought I would buy them, but I just wanted to test them first because I thought if they're garbage, I'm not buying them. But um, I was surprised these were not as hard. Um, I, I, I should do a review of some of the coloring pencils I've bought at Dollarama. I know I've done some, but I should do some more. And uh, so I picked up this box of Lala's. Lola's and it says it's intense bright colors long lasting pre sharpened high quality there are 50 in here so you get 50 coloring pencils for four bucks these are not artist quality I know that I'm not expecting to find my favorite Castel Polychromos at the dollar store no 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 no, no. or Caron Dash or Holbein I'm not I'm not expecting to find those at Dollarama I know what I'll find at Dollarama is going to be, you know, student grade and, and even like low quality. But, you know, if I just, I love art supplies, arts and craft supplies. I love coloring and stuff. So I love buying these things. I love testing them out, seeing what they're like. And often if I don't like something for myself, I do pass it on. Uh, but I get a lot of pleasure in checking them out. I get a lot of pleasure in buying them and coming home with a brand new box of pencils. So I will be uh, looking into these some more, maybe doing a test and comparing them to some others that I got at Dollarama. And then this box, I was I recognized the packaging and I thought, I wonder if, and I looked at the back and it's, yes, it's a Leisure Arts. And this is a company that I'm very familiar with. I actually work with this brand. I have received really good products from them. Uh, they do have, and I will, I, that's why I want to do a review. These are not their artist quality pencil crayons, okay? But they're good. And these were two bucks for the 24. And, uh... They're not artist quality, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. But for two bucks, yeah, I think they're worth it. So uh, you'll have to stay tuned for me to uh, stay tuned to see when I do uh, some sort of uh, coloring pencil review. And that is it for Dollarama this week. Uh, maybe not this week, but for today. I hope you found uh, some. Thing informative or at least entertaining from this video and uh, thank you so much for uh, watching please uh, like comment share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh, stay crafty my friends and I'll see you later bye